Michelle with two L's and I'm one half of Force of Light Entertainment. I'm here today to give you uh, my reactionary thoughts on the first look at the prequel to The Hunger Games. And let me pull up the title. It's a long one. I keep forgetting. Hunger Games, The Ballad of the Songbirds and Snakes. And I was a big fan of The Hunger Games when that came out. Uh in the kind of like 2000-ish, late 2010, like 11. I remember the first movie came out, I believe, in 11. I remember seeing that, then Hunger, Catching Fire 12, and so on and so on. Um, but I was one, I went to the movie, not really know anything about it, saw it, enjoyed it, and ended up going and reading all the books and became a big fan uh, by the end of it. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was creative. Uh, I thought Kat, Katniss was a fantastic heroine. Um, it was, it was, a, it was a gets authoritarianism type of, it was, it was just great stories. Uh, love triangle you had in there, thrown in there for the teen stuff, but I thoroughly enjoyed Hunger Games. So when they came out, when the author came out with a prequel to it, I gave it a chance. I got the audio, the audio book. And I will say that I don't even know if I got halfway through the book and just really didn't have a desire to go back and finish it. Uh, and then I remember them saying, well, they're going to make a movie. And I was like, I'll just wait and go see the movie. That's kind of where I was uh, with that when that came out. Because from what I recall from the book, it just didn't have like the Hunger Games series. Yes, there's heaviness to it, obviously, do it, dealing with the, the topics they're dealing with. But there's also like a lot of hope that runs through those those stories where this, I, I didn't really feel that hope element, so it just kind of felt depressing, honestly. Uh, because you know they're only 10 years into the game, so there's another 65 years of this hellacious way that they're all living. Uh, so it just wasn't the most hopeful, and it didn't really draw me in. But again, when I heard they were making a movie about it, I was like, well, I'll probably end up seeing it. But they released this, and this is much, I'm releasing this much later than I normally would with a reaction. But I wanted to give my, my thoughts on this, because there's something in particular I'll address at the end that I don't see anyone else kind of addressing that I find a little bothersome. But I, I and, and in all fairness, I have seen this once. When it came out Friday, I saw it on my, a trailer, saw the trailer on my phone. Normally, I've not seen it when I come to you guys. But I literally didn't know how I felt after I watched it. I didn't know if I thought it was good or bad. So this might be a case we're seeing it with you guys for a second time. Maybe I, I am sure I'll be able to give you my thoughts. And again, I do have thoughts on something that I did actually, uh, well, that I did catch. But anyways, let's go ahead and watch this and see if I can form a little better thoughts on, or at least a better grasp on my thoughts on this. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves. I forgot my old name was Casca High Bottom. I have summoned you all here for the 10th annual reaping ceremony in which we choose two children from each district to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. From District 12, Lucy Gray Bear. We like Rachel Gregor. I think she's pretty, pretty good there actress. There has been a change There's this a year. Too. As a mentor, Mr. Snow, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, oh, no. not survivors. What does my mentor do besides bring me roses? I do my best to take care of you. You really want to take care of me in that arena? Start by thinking I can actually win. Who would we help? I'm Lucky Flickerman. I like First it looks ever like the host of the Hunger Games. Enjoy the show. Five, four, Enjoy the show. three, two, Enjoy the show. Run. Enjoy the show. It'll be interesting to see how the what games were like in the same year. Fueled with the terror of becoming prey. See how quickly we become predator? See how quickly civilization disappears? There's a natural goodness built into us all. We can step across that line into evil. Or not. You hear 
of that boy. Yeah, snow's definitely going to cross that line. Snow. Into falling. How wonderful that we all get to be here for someone's final performance. It's not just about winning. Everything is about winning. You monsters! All of you! <laughs> It's the things we love most that destroy us. November 17th. Okay. I see this is actually a case again. Normally, I've not seen it at all when I react, but I think I, I definitely have a better kind of where I stand on this at this point. Um, I think it, I, I think I'm interested. I, I need to be sold on a final on another trailer. Uh, I think just coming out of so many like Disney movies and stuff, them owning so many different uh IPs, that this looks kind of refreshing to me again, a little different. Uh, but I, I do think I personally would have start again. I, I personally would have started this trilogy on like maybe the first hunger games and probably just would have left snow kind of out of it for the most part. Uh, because there has been a, a trend in Hollywood to take kind of very much villainous characters and try to make them so sympathetic. And if I recall, right, you guys let me know if I'm, if, I'm not right on this. I believe Snow's like in his 20s at this point. Um, I So I don't want him to become too sympathetic just because I don't think in your, in your going into your 20s, something's going to happen that just makes you such an evil person that he becomes. Uh, my point is, I don't think he was a great guy at this point in his life. Uh, so I hope they don't make him too sympathetic because again, he's he's truly like a monster. I mean, he is in the movies. Uh, but then... Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks fairly interesting. The only thing I was going to say that has not been addressed, and if you have a different thought on this, that's your opinion. I, I did notice that Tigress, which is a distinctively female role, has been cast to a, we'll just say a biological male. And I don't really think that's very cool, quite frankly, to take away female roles and give it to a biological male. Uh, I, that's my take. I don't think that's cool. And yeah, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. But this movie, I think overall looks pretty interesting, uh, or looks fairly interesting. Again, I need to be sold on another trailer, but what are you guys thoughts on this? Or are you instantly sold? Do you not care about the Hunger Games anymore? I do know Hunger Games kind of, it seems to keep finding a, a younger generation to pick it up. So I, I'd say this movie can probably do pretty well. But what are your thoughts on the trailer? Are you interested or not? Share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give the video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to be a force of light. All right, bye guys.